John Calipari. You either hate this guy or you like this guy. There's no in-betweens. But however, with that being said, there's one thing for sure that we all have to agree on. He's been a pretty great basketball coach over the years. Has he done some shady stuff and questionable things over the year? Absolutely. But like I said, he can coach basketball. And I think the thing that makes him interesting is the fact that not everybody likes him and he almost plays the role as a villain. You don't really see that with a lot of coaches at any level. If you're talking about a great coach, he doesn't really have that many haters. Like I said though, it is much different with Coach Calipari. I do feel at times he is misunderstood because all of his players do like him and they say he's a player's coach, it's just the media who gives him a bad reputation. Anyways, regardless of how you feel about him, moving on with this video, he's been the head coach for Kentucky for a while now and he's been pretty good there. This year for Kentucky though, it's a completely different story and it's been atrocious. They've had their worst start since 1926 through 1927 and they started the season one and six and they almost started the season one and seven if you're a sports fan or even played for a high school team yourself you already know what i'm about to say anytime you win all the credit and glory goes to the players but anytime you lose it goes to the head coach should it be that way i don't know about all that but hey that's how it's been forever now you win players get the credit you lose coaches either get fired or they get the blame normally when coaches have losing seasons or bad seasons they can make the excuse of oh i don't have the players just yet but you can't use that excuse for john calipari he's always had the best recruiting classes and this year he has multiple five-star recruits on his current team so with the very sluggish start for this year for this current team all the blame's going to him. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section, but I think it's fair to put the blame on him right now. The games they've been losing have been really close. It's not like they've been getting blown out of the water. And when you lose a bunch of close games, that blame has to go to the coach. A good slash great coach makes a difference in a two to three point game. Either one or two things have been happening. He's not playing the right players at the right time, or he's making bad play calls. And if you do keep up with Kentucky, if you watch their previous game, yes, they won, but here's a fun fact about the game. Coach Calipari got through out when they were losing by more than six points. Ultimately, to make a long story short, they came back in overtime and won the game without their head coach. But they were losing when he got kicked out of the game, so they actually did better when he wasn't coaching them. I'm not going to say this was a bad look for the program because a lot of time these coaches get thrown out of games to motivate their team and maybe that's what he was trying to do. He's done this multiple times and it's really jump started their team for a season so maybe this is the right thing to do. With that being said though it is ironic and iconic I guess you could say that they did win the game when they were trailing when he was coaching. And in today's video we're going to talk all about this stuff and why Coach Kyle Perry could be getting fired in the future. What's good y'all? Hope you're having a blessed day. Just wanted to drop by and say if you're new to this channel, think about hitting that subscribe button. We're on the road to 100k. Appreciate it if you join the family. Now without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Okay, I gotta say that was probably the longest intro I've ever had for a video on this channel, but all that stuff needed to be said. And before I get going and start talking, I do want to say that this is going to be more of a conspiracy type of video. I'm going to back up what I say with some valid points, but also it could be a stretch, so therefore it's a conspiracy. Whatever, you get the point. I just wanted to state that before people go to the comments saying that I'm saying this stuff's going to happen. Could it happen? Yes. Will it happen? I don't know. Going into this season as just a college basketball fan in general, if you would have told me that Kentucky would start the season one and six, I would have said you're crazy. As we all know though, that happened and it's been a shock to the nation. Kentucky is a straight up blue blood. When you talk about going to a great college for basketball, they're one of the top teams you always think about. A main reason for that is because they do get players to the NBA, but everyone loves Coach Kyle Perry. Like I stated in my intro, the media doesn't really like him, but he's a player's coach and the players love him. When Kentucky started off losing a couple games here and there to start the season, nobody thought much about it, but once they started losing that fourth and fifth game, this is when a lot of the fans started talking. And not just fans, but people in general. Some of the people were talking just because people online, they say whatever they want, and when things are going good, they give the team praise, but when things are going bad, they also talk a lot of crap. So of course, a bunch of the examples I'm gonna use are just BS and people talking, but some other ones I'm gonna use are legit reason. I guess we'll start with the BS ones first, and that is your fans going on Twitter. Once Kentucky reached the one and four, one and five, and one and six mark, this is when a lot of people were saying that Coach Calipari 
he has to get out of there. And by get out of there, they meant Kentucky's gotta fire him. I don't have to state why they thought that, it's because they were losing a bunch of games in a row, and Kentucky fans aren't used to that. I think this is a great example. It would be the equivalent to Alabama football losing six games in a row. I don't think most people would be calling for Nick Saban to get fired, but there would be your occasional and casual fan saying that Nick Saban, he's gotta go and he's washed up. It's the exact same thing for Coach Calipari. You just got people that can't stand to see a program lose and they want him out of there. Is it right? No, and I'll give you a perfect reason. You can get away with a losing season here and there when you've proven yourself as much as Nick Saban has or Coach Calipari. We would be having a completely different conversation if this was a first or second year head coach. When you haven't proven your worth and what you actually bring to a program, this is when people can hold that bounty over your head. And before we go any farther while I'm thinking about it, do I think Coach Calipari will get fired this season? Absolutely not. I don't care if he doesn't win another game this year. It's it's not going to happen. Well, let me rephrase that. Unless he does something crazy to one of the players, that's not going to happen. That also leads me perfectly into my next point. It's not just the one in six start for them, it's also a thing he did to one of his guys. I made a video talking about it, so if you wanna check it out, you can go check out that video. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about the matter, but I'll give you a little bit of the update. One of his players on his team was caught crying on the bench and had an emotional breakdown on and off the court in the locker room that a bunch of us don't know about, and Coach Kyle Perry went to Twitter and publicly addressed why he's suspending him or kicking him off the team. Technically, in his tweet, he didn't put he was suspending him, he put he asked him to leave. You can look at that how you want, but in other words, he kicked him off the team. This was a bad look for a lot of reasons. One, because they were losing, and two, he did it publicly, and he shouldn't have done that because he straight up embarrassed that kid. That's something you address with the team and the kid. You don't put it on social media. I don't care who you are. I got a lot of respect for Coach Cal, and I'm not even a Kentucky fan, but I do gotta say that was wrong. And to make things even worse, Kentucky was on this losing streak, so things just hit the fire and blade and people were going at him. Just think about this though, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal as if Kentucky was 4-1 and one or even 5-1. and one. The fact of the matter is, when you're losing games, people think of anything to get you out of there. When you're winning games though, it's a different story. People don't care what you do with your team because you're getting wins. Now, with all that being said, you kind of got the up to date on why a lot of fans wanted him fired during that one and six stretch and what he did to one of his guys, we can talk about why he may get fired in the near future. Like I've already said, he will not get fired at the end of this season unless something crazy happens, but I do think he could lose his job in the next two years or three. I know I made the comparison to Coach Cal and Nick Saban, but I do gotta say Nick Saban's on a different level because he has won a bunch of championships. Kentucky's coach has a bunch of good seasons, but he doesn't have a lot of championships to show for it. Therefore, he doesn't have that much leverage or skin in the game. Basically what I'm saying in other terms, he's not irreplaceable. He's a good coach and I'm not gonna take that away from him, but almost anybody could coach four and five star recruits. It's not that hard. I'm pretty confident in myself and I think I know a lot about basketball. And even you watching this, you may too. And I think we can all agree that any of us watching this video could have coached that team and got them to one and six. And even if you don't agree, you couldn't have done much worse. Just just from what I've seen for this season, they're more than likely not going to have a winning season and if they do it's going to be something like 16 and 15 or 16 and 14. Not a big deal, nothing's going to happen this season. So let's talk about the year after. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's say he has an okay year and goes 17 and 13 or 18 and 12. And also I guess just for talking sakes, let's say he barely misses March Madness again. Well that would be two years in a row where they did not live up to expectations. I do believe if he has another bad season next year, he will be on that borderline hot seat. However, I don't think even if he has another bad season next year, he'll get fired. Not this year, not the year after, but that third year, so three years from now, that's gonna be the season where he may get fired. He's proven enough where he can have back-to-back -back bad seasons, but when you're talking about back-to-back to back to back bad seasons, I don't know about that. The only person that could even get away with that, I think, would be Duke's head coach and Alabama's football head coach. Even still then, I know how crazy Alabama football fans are, they would be calling for Nick Saban's job. I can guarantee you that. Here's the difference though with Coach Cal. If you're not a Kentucky fan, you already don't like this guy. And what's even worse is that some Kentucky fans right now still don't even like him. So when you got some of your own fan base that already don't like you and you give them more than one reason to have you out of there, they're 
gonna be calling for your head. You guys can say what you want to, but social media and fans, they have an influence on jobs. If enough people want him out of there and he's proven that he's not as elite of a head coach he once was, they'll fire him. Plus, to another thing to go with it, if you have back-to-back-to-back five-star recruiting classes and you're not producing, you shouldn't be there anyways. Could all this stuff happen? Yes. Is it likely? I don't know, but here's the thing. I didn't think it was likely for them to start the season one and six and be playing as bad as they are. So as much as I wanna say I don't think it could happen, I also do think this could happen. Dare I say that Kentucky's not a top tier team anymore because two to three years ago, and even last year when I heard that someone's playing Kentucky, I would always think Kentucky had a good chance to win, but it's not the same this year. Kentucky will not, and I mean will not get my respect or even scare me with whoever they're playing until they prove to me that they can shoot the three ball. And I know they won their last game, it was on the road, so that's a good win, but they still don't look good out there together. The chemistry is straight up whack, and I just don't understand how Coach Kyle gets all these four and five star recruits and cannot gel them together. I already know there's gonna be some people saying, oh, they're freshmen, you gotta give them time. Man, shut up. They've been playing basketball for years. I'm tired of hearing that excuse in every sport. I quit listening and buying into that a long, and I mean a long time ago, because we saw Zion go into Duke, RJ Barrett, as just freshmen and dominate. And since we've been talking about Alabama football, the same goes for them. They play freshmen every single year, but still dominate. The whole freshman debate and they're still young, no, I do not agree with that. And that's my opinion. You can let me know what you think about that down below. Like I was saying though, that third year is going to be the tail year for Kentucky. If he has back to back to back, not great and not good basketball seasons, he'll be out of there or if he's not, it's going to be close. I'm not even going to talk about if he stayed for that third year or what would happen in the fourth year because, like I said, I don't think if he has three bad years, he'll be there any longer. Like I said, though, let me know what you think down below in the comment section on everything I talked about. But, hey, man, with all that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button for me and leave a like for more. And, as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.